Welcome back guys, welcome to another video. I just got done at work. We're going to be finishing up the uh, the Starlight Headliner. I showed you guys in the last video uh, how to kind of wrap the whole thing in suede, do the whole trim like underneath and everything, and also the, the painting of the plastics. The plastics still look awesome, the paint's sticking very well. This is our project for today. 1100 little tiny Starlight, very Tedious work, very delicate. I'm gonna have, this is Cody's truck behind me. I'm gonna have my front windshield, I believe, either my front or rear window taken out. And we're gonna actually slide the headliner in so there won't be any creases. Because this year I wanna do it right. Last year was really a pain in the ass to do it and I just really don't feel like doing it a third time. So we're gonna do it right this year. This process is pretty simple actually. It's just really time consuming. About 18 to 20 hours out of your day or days or week or whatever. So I'll kind of give you guys an overview of what's going on here. This is called fiber optic lights. It's a very thin strand of like this plastic material. The light comes out of this, this uh, light source right here and projects to one side of these strands. And as you can see, all those strands come to this point. They're, uh, they're just made right in there, either glued or melted or whatever right in there cut off smooth or flush and this plugs right into the light source just like that project light through here it'll go through the entire thing it does shine actually extremely bright when you have a bunch of them put together right at the very tip of these strands that's what gives the very fine point starlight look to the headline it, it, it's pretty neat people charge insane an absolutely insane amount of money to do these. It can be upwards of three thousand dollars for for someone to custom do this for you. My budget actually had to be a little bit higher because I actually had to buy a new headliner. But if you just buy the strands and do it yourself, uh, I do have the Bluetooth enabled uh, light source here, so it's a little. It's about a hundred dollars more each one. I have two of these total. I think I paid roughly around I don't know five hundred ish dollars between all the uh, the Gorilla Glue right here, the tape, the, the suede, the lights, there are two light sources, everything. But I'm telling you right now, it is 100% going to be one of the very most noticeable pieces or you know custom parts of your truck or car or whatever you're putting in. Because I took my truck to Daytona last year. I'll throw a picture of my uh, what my truck looked like last year up right now for you. And, uh, so that's what it looks like, and the Starlight Headliner, I'll sh show you a picture of that right now. Um, the Starlight Headliner was actually one, if not the most commented on thing that I had on the entire truck. I mean, yeah, my underglow or my, my rock lights got a lot of attention too. The Starlight Headliner is just a complete different level. I mean, e even if you know nothing about it, even if you just see it, you can tell that a lot and a lot of time and effort went into doing that headliner. <laughs> this one is just gonna be nuts. This video, I am working pretty heavily right now, so this video actually might span out over a couple of days, and I apologize for that. However, when you guys see that end result at the end of this video, you're gonna wanna do it yourselves. I'll kinda walk you through the process. Yeah, let's get to it. I would uh, mark out every single light, as you can see, Every single one of these dots is where a light's going to be. This is kind of what it looks like. It's just a whole bunch of mayhem. I have a bunch of these done. So I'm going to do this, this quarter for you guys. And then I have to relayer the entire thing, do it all over again with the other strand. Then we'll glue it, chop off the strands, and show you the uh, end result. days later now starlights are in I mean all 1100 are in everything sorted out mainly what we're gonna be doing like right now is uh, just cleaning it up because there, that's a lot of material to put on top of a headliner uh, especially with the very thin space you have between the top of the headliner and the bottom of the actual cab it's a, it's a lot of stuff going in there so our main priority for t uh, today to finish this thing up is 
pretty much just to organize everything. Get all the strands pulled, glued, and as you can see, these big wads of strands. Uh, I'm gonna try and separate them and take them apart and pretty much zip tie like five different little strands just so, as you can see, that's probably a good inch of width right there that you're just probably gonna run into issues when you actually put the headliner in and I uh, just, it's gonna mess everything up. As you can see, there are 1,100 fiber optic cables strung through the headliner. This is what the bomb looks like. A lot messier if I lift this up, but just an absolute spaghetti pile of shit. So we'll clean this up today. I'll show you when it gets dark out. I'll turn off all the lights. I'll show you exactly what it looks like lit up. I've already seen it lit up. It looks insane. We're gonna just clean her up a little bit here. I'll be using Gorilla Glue. I bought a bunch of stuff. I got some mat or uh, electrical tape. Grill glue, that is for another project we'll be doing today that you'll see some more contact cement for a little piece of suede that we gotta put on. We'll get to it. She's almost done. All right, so ever since the uh, both sets of strands are uh, electrical tape, we kinda know where we want the strands to end up underneath the rear seat because that's where the uh, the light sources are going. Once you have that figured out, we're gonna pull the strands tight from the, the bottom side. Then once we have tension on the strands, once they're all nice and neat, then we'll uh, start gluing. I just flipped the uh, the headliner over. It's got all the uh, the strands on the top side. As you can see, it's it's an absolute mess. These strands are probably two to three feet long each, and there are 1,100 of them. This is what the Gorilla Glue on the back side looks like. It comes out really really thin, so it does run. But when it hardens up, it's pretty much like a cement. I go through with some scissors, trim all this stuff off. I'll probably leave about three to four inches on the strands. Just so if I slide it into the truck and the strand snags, it won't rip the light completely out. And I will still be able to adjust it and then re-glue it if I need to. So I'll get that done and then the, the headline is pretty much ready to go to get shipped off to uh, where my truck is to get put in. Alright, so all the strands are trimmed. Uh, I got them down to about three to four inches all the way across. Kind of hard to see now. This is just temporarily, obviously when it's actually in the truck, uh, I'll have them cut off uh, flush with the suede and it will actually look like a finished product. I'm gonna wire it up to an extension cord right now and actually show you guys what it looks like lit up outside of the truck. Here, it's gonna look kind of weird. It's not gonna look like what it's going to look like after it's done, but the underneath, I already tried it. Uh, earlier and it looks it's insane it two lights going on so uh, we'll turn off the lights here get that wired up and uh, show you guys what it looks like unfinished so I just plugged these in and you can't really see too much on here but when you come up top it's a completely different story and like I've pretty much shown you guys how to do these are two different two completely different light sources not too many people actually this is the first time I've I've seen anyone do it with two pretty much like two tone like this usually I do like one light source with like a thousand strands and it's all the same color having it two completely different colors like this going on at the same time is insane I'll, sh I'll show off the lights right here because it looks even better at night There you go, guys. It That is insane. It doesn't even look real. Just the insane amount of work that goes into this and how many hours to come out looking like that. Looks perfect. And it's going to look even better when it's actually all trimmed. This is obviously not trimmed. I mentioned this is all completely Bluetooth enabled. The light sources down there, which you can't really see, the green and red light right there, completely Bluetooth enabled. So you can go in here, change your speed, color, whatever color you want, pretty much. I mean, it's it's crazy. Go down to colors, pretty much pick whatever color you want. Uh, let's do green. 
and then go up here, go to your other light source, disconnect from that one, go and change this one to like red, any color you want, let's do red and blue. If you do it to this extent, I guarantee you, you will not see anything like this other than on your vehicle, because this is, like I said earlier in the video, this is a completely different level, 100% worth the time and money, because you, people will notice this big time. And meanwhile, while that's all going on up top, uh, this is going to be going on on top of your headliner, which you won't see, but it is still pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, 1100 fiber optics going through black suede to make something look like that. I'll show you guys. I have another video I took a couple nights ago. I'll show you right now of what the other side looks like. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, it's almost done. I do have to uh, clean up some of this uh, the suede on the edges here and uh, get these trimmed. And this is going to be going into the truck in the very near future, within a week or two, whenever the, uh, the iPad dash is close to being finished. So the iPad will be compatible with this because obviously the iPad has apps and Bluetooth or whatever. The iPad will be able to connect to those, which means this and all the lights inside of the truck will be connected off the iPad dash, including the tuning. It's gonna be a complete, complete setup and it's gonna be insane. I ordered my leather interior about a week ago. iPad dash is coming together and this gorgeous, gorgeous Starlight headliner. <laughs> we are almost done. Uh, once once everything is ordered and, and put together, I'll obviously do a video and show you guys what's going on and how everything's compatible. Like I've said multiple times, we're doing a complete interior swap on this thing. If you want to keep updated on what's going on, the whole interior swap, just stick around and keep watching videos. I'll have more up on uh, YouTube here in the near future. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good time. And Cody just bought a dirt bike. have no idea if we're going to do videos on that or not. Uh, for now, I will see you guys next time and have a good one. See ya.